guys, this is Nev from The of Irvin here once again to talk about toys, comics, mangas, uh, movies, <laughs> and shows that we love under the geeky sun. I am terribly sorry with that uh, unscripted blunder there. As mentioned, we go uh, along the way. We we actually uh, do this real time. <laughs> No scripts and anything like that, so yep, please forgive me, please forgive me, but that's neither here or there, we're not talking about, uh, we're not here to talk about my blunders, we're here to talk about toys! So, you might ask, hey, it's another Spider-Man figure, what's the difference between these two from the other assortments? Well, straightforward, all right off the bat, this is not... Once again, this is not the the Marvel Legends three and three quarters, or Marvel Universe, or Marvel Infinite three and three quarters, one eighteen scales line of figure. What? What? Oh, also, it's not a Toy Biz Marvel Legends. Superhero show dance three and three quarter, one eighteen scale line of figures. What? Yes, it's not. This is actually. I'll just call it an experimental line of figures. This is the Spider-Man three and three quarters line of figures. Okay, now what is the difference between Marvel Universe, Marvel Legends, Marvel Infinite? Superhero showdown and these wonderful figure that we have in front of us. Well, when we say uh, Marvel Universe, that is the first official Hasbro three and three quarters line of figures for the four inch or the three and three quarters. Just like what I've said, that's the first line that they officially branded Marvel Universe. The Marvel Universe line consists of any and every superheroes and villains that they have in their roster, in their vocabulary, in their um, in their large, large library of characters. So there, would you even believe that there's a Marvel Universe Mary Jane figure? Yes, there is one. Limited articulations in terms of, um, you know, possibility um, but it's a good figure it's a very 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 rare figure it will cost me 3,000 pesos just to get one non superhero character and it wouldn't come with the accessory that it should come with a little poodle a little puppy no it's not a poodle I think she's a Shih Tzu I, I don't know I don't know but the dog of Firestar comes with that Mary Jane figure that you will not have unless it's mint, which shoots up the price more. So there, <laughs> enough of my rambling about the that figure. And then uh, the following um, line of figures, Marvel Infinite is a rebranding of the Marvel Universe toy line that came, I think, around 2000. Correct me if I'm wrong, like 2014, 15, 16. And then they killed that line off as well. And then rebranded to Marvel Legends. Three and three quarters. Why did they do that? Because during that time between um, 2015 up to now, the four inch line slowly lost its magic. And the six inch figures became much more popular. So as a marketing strat strategy they said you know we should rebrand it to Marvel Legends because the Marvel Legends brand is much more profitable versus Marvel Infinite or Marvel Universe so that's why it's also they, they, uh, we also may call this Marvel Legends 4 inch and then SH or superhero showdown is from Toy Biz so that's a different a whole different beast of itself now let's go to this these 
cute little figures. What are these? Back in 2000, I think 2010, 11, they actually are Hasbro. Hasbro released a line of figures, more specifically just for Spider-Man. And these are the figures that we're actually going to review right now. Uh, limited articulation, uh, a little bit smaller compared to the regular Marvel Universe. So let's call in our friend, 616 Peter B. Parker. What? And then let's call in Wave 1, Marvel Universe, Spider-Man. No, 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 no. You mean this? these figures are really small? Yeah. Did I flinch? Yes, they're very small. Midgets. <laughs> or smidgets? But point is, they're smaller than your regular um, Marvel Universe uh, toys. This assortment or the, this line, um, just to name a few that I know, uh, released the Shocker, very rare one, uh, Hob and Green Goblin, Green Goblin, I got the Green Goblin, I might review him next, maybe, maybe, and then um, Scorpion, who else, the Lizard, um, no, that's not, not, no, not the right, no, uh, who else, Carnage, Venom, and that's that's some of the ones that I know. Most of them, uh, I got. No, let's just go ahead and reveal it. I got um, Scorpion and Green Goblin, and yes, their articulations are still very minimal. I want to get the uh, Hobgoblin and the Carnage some other, some other time. Those are very rare. Really, really rare. Why didn't I say Shocker is really rare? He doesn't exist anymore. What I mean, what do, we, what do you mean by that? You won't ever get him. Or if you're gonna be able to get him, it's either the, the seller doesn't know how to price it, you will get it very cheap, like 500 pesos. Or he's just really just letting it go. But, 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 if you are going to get Mint, or at least, you know, the, the seller is uh, very knowledgeable of the trades, 5,000. So it's either 500 or 5,000. Or no, never at all. Not at all. Zero chance. And he comes by like, I could say 1 in a 20 uh assortment of selling stuff like for example for example this guy let's be realistic okay he came with a box set he is a reissue so you will get plenty of this this guy this guy remember when i talked about him compared to toby he is still manageable. You can still find him. But shocker, nada. This one, this one, I just got lucky. This one, same. I just got lucky. Shout out again to bro Omar Sirutsi. That's his name um, in Facebook. I, I got this guy with... Uh, these two ouch <laughs> but this is or this the uh, sensational spider-man is really rare so why does he wear that uniform costume well he doesn't or he's wearing a different one basically this is the original spider-man that we all love and this is Ben Riley. Remember uh, during the last review that I mentioned, uh, 
there is a scarlet spider that uh scarlet spider won ben riley during the clone uh i think it's clone wars or clone saga uh of spider-man what happened there is that he spider-man have an enemy called the jackal and his perk or what's different between the jackal and most of his adversary is that the jackal is a genetics genetic uh genius he was able to clone a lot of uh, people like gwen stacy uh in the most recent comics he uh revived prowler uh rhino um just the name of some and then during the 1990s he was able to actually clone peter parker spider-man so to not confuse the uh, people this guy here took the name ben like benjamin parker ben parker and then used the last name riley you know just to have a uh non super non superhero persona and also to respect uh pay respect to uh the original uh spider man but what happened in the story spider man peter got married with mary jane and decided to quit the superhero life so ben here said brother do not worry i'll take the mantle <laughs> so to differentiate himself from the original spider-man he made this costume so enough of my rambling enough of the history let's talk about first this guy okay actually they're mostly the same articulation but i'll still show you that's what we do here we show everything so um design wise cob cobweb pattern I, I like that that's actually um like sculpted in so very good nice color there are uh dry brushing here of the black to expose wow the musculature of spider-man here and then <laughs> one funny thing if you will notice his biceps and tricep is very big like oh i'm not sure but his <laughs> um shin his calves are very small so <laughs> it's just funny like you know eh i mean that's their design can't do much so articulation his head will go up this much like ooh. whoa whoa <laughs> but that's not what we came here for the for the review but yeah, yeah i know whoa and then he can look down actually the looking down is more like just looking straight there's a little down there but not much and then his hand arms will go uh full 360 it will go out this much what this much okay <laughs> wait just give me a second okay <laughs> this much this much okay enough <laughs> It doesn't have any swa um what swiceps bissel bissel what whatever but it doesn't have any bicep swivel sorry i'm really sleepy it's already 4 a.m here <laughs> i just wanted to record this so we can get it over so anyway <laughs> no bicep swivel but there is a twist in the elbow single jointed elbow it will go this much didn't really reach the uh 90 degrees angle but it's okay manageable manageable and then a actually it's a forearm swivel but yeah that's that's what they got for the hands here instead of a wrist it's a forearm swivel no ebb and waist articulation so solid you can't can crush crunch it it's uh, built with this joint or this uh articulation that in order for you to actually make him kick you have to put it or, wait 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 what what i mean he can kick side like that and then what you do is that 
you twist this and then move it like that so we can kick forward but that's not too much still uh, very minimal let's see if we can do it eh you can't do it in the back but yep okay that's that's okay single jointed knees that will go that far a uh, swivel here but no uh, ankle rockers or anything so he is uh, kind of hard to uh, pose to be honest with you but it's okay it's okay everything is manageable everything is manageable you can't get everything but everything is manageable let me try to make him stand oh sorry okay there we go so it's still manageable it's still doable it's just uh, finding the center of his back balance come on dude stop embarrassing me. oh sorry stop embarrassing me dude Okay, I can't find his balance. <laughs> Dude, come on. Stop being a, a butt or an ass. Okay, there you go. So now, the sensational Spider-Man. Well, to be honest, design-wise, he is quite good. To be straightforward, he is very good. No doubt about it. My, my complaint? The arms are short. The arms are short. And he's very short. Height wise, not just the arms, okay? He's very short. So let's put put the uh, Spider Man back here. Standing all straight. See? Even the shorter Spider Man is taller than him so that's my complaint no wrist swivel very short articulation wise he can go uh, oh. what's up with that yes wait just give me a second oh that's why oh wait so if you will notice guys the sensational one is hunching uh, back further compared to uh, I don't have any nicknames for him yet ultimate spider-man maybe maybe so he is hunching further compared to his other brother so he will look up that much just straight straight up no down uh, his arms will go out this much. I can feel it. <laughs> and then there's a twist there, so it will go uh, around 360 degrees. Elbow bend and twist. No problem. No wrist articulation. No torso or torso or waist articulation. Same uh, system. You have to like. Kick, make him kick uh, out side first twist the legs and then twist it forward so he will kick this far side uh, far this far for wow far forward and then not ma much for back yeah you can't put it you know in the back that's as far as that you can do. Whoa! And then, as you can see, <laughs> bend forward this much and back this much. No uh, ankle articulation or anything. And that's about it for our review. Okay. Just testing the waters. Nope. It's just him. It's just him. So, what do you think about the figures and the review? I do appreciate you taking your time watching these uh, reviews. Please do share, like, and subscribe to the channel. And visit the of Irvin 
and our YouTube page. And once again, if you do have any suggestions, reactions, recommendations, what to do, what to remove, what, what to improve on, please do let me know in the comment section below. Once again, I'm thinking of uh, creating a Discord for this uh, so we can talk to each other uh, directly, not just the... Uh, um, not just through the chat box and here guys uh, please do help me uh, in um, making my videos more visible uh, I really appreciate if you can like share and subscribe to the channel but uh, if you, you have knowledge on what to do here please do let me know what to improve on on our YouTube channel um, it's good that we have reached 100 um, subscription, but uh, you know our main goal here is to let the gra the slow but gradual um, improvement and growth of this channel. I really do appreciate everything that you've uh, done for us for the channel. I uh, hope to see you soon. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Bye.